Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to Leisure Gaming. I am Leisure, and today I'm bringing to you a deck profile that I was wanting to play since the start of the game. Unfortunately, they did not release it, but they have now, and I'm talking about Bee Troopers. So when talking about Bee Troopers, I found that there's two. There's the all pure Bee Trooper deck build, and then there's the Bee Trooper meta. The one I prefer is the pure, because I guess I'm just tired of seeing DPE everywhere throughout the meta right now. So this is how I'm running it as a pure B Trooper. We're running one Killer Needle. Next, we're running two Battle Wasp Pin the Bullseye. If you control an insect monster, you can special summon this card. And during your main phase, inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each Battle Wasp Pin the Bullseye you control. We're running three Maxis, the Hand Trap. Running three Battle Wasps Sting the Poison. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Battle Wasp monster from your deck to your hand, except Battle Wasp Sting the Poison. And with its quick effect, you can tribute one other insect monster, then target one effect monster your opponent controls, and negate its effect until the end of this turn. We're running the ever popular three Ash Blossoms. Next, we're running two Goki Pole. You can definitely run this at three if you prefer. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one level four insect monster from your deck to your hand. Then if you added a normal monster, you can special summon it. Then you can destroy one monster on the field with an attack greater than or equal to that special summon monster. Be careful because you can end up destroying your own monster if you're not paying attention because I've done that a couple times. Next we're running two Battle Wasp Twimbo the Attacker. You can also run this at three. During your main phase, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except insect monsters. You can only use the effect once per turn. And this card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Next, we're running three B Trooper Scout Buggies. I've seen this at two. I like having it at three, so personal preference. You cannot special summon monsters except insect monsters. If this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one B Trooper Scout Buggy from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Next, we have two B Trooper Scale Bomber. If an insect monster, monsters, is normal or special summon to your field, you can special summon this card from your hand. When a monster your opponent controls activates its effect, you can tribute one insect monster and destroy it. This is a quick effect. Next, we're running three Resonance Insect, and this is a mandatory three. This card is too important for this deck. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one level five or higher insect monster from your deck to your hand. If this card is banished, you can send one insect monster from your deck to the graveyard. And this is not a hard once per turn, so you can continually do this. Next, we're running two Retaliating Seas. You can definitely run this at three. I think two works out just fine, since you're already running three of the max Seas. When your opponent activates a spell card that includes an effect that special summons a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way while this card is faced upon the field, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one earth insect monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. This is going to be your maxi searcher. Next we're running one Battle Wasp Arbalest, the rapid fire. When this card is normal summon, you can target one level three or lower insect monster in your grave. Special summon that monster in defense position. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can special summon one Battle Wasp monster from your hand or deck to take its place. Next, we're running one B Trooper Sting Lancer, and you can definitely run this at two. I find running it at one works out pretty well. During the main phase, and this is a quick effect, you can target one insect monster in your graveyard and one insect monster in your opponent's graveyard and special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, place the targeted monsters on the bottom of the decks. If this card is normal or special summon, you can then add one B Trooper spell or trap from your deck to your hand. For that effect, this is going to be your searcher to get B Trooper Fly and Sting, which we'll talk about later. Next, we have one Doom Dozer, and I've been running this card since the TCG. It's just too much fun not to have in an insect deck. Doom Dozer cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned from your hand by banishing two insect monsters from your graveyard. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, send the top card of their deck to the graveyard. And lastly, for the B Troopers, I'm running one Heavy B Trooper Mighty Neptune. This is a toss up. I've seen this at one and I've seen decks that don't run it at all. I like, I like having it. It cannot be normal summoned or set. Must first be special summoned from your hand by shuffling three of your banished insect monsters into the main deck. 
During the main phase, if this card in its owner's control is destroyed or banished by an opponent's card, you can special summon this card. You can only use the effect once per turn. And once per turn, during the end phase, you can target one other insect monster and that card gains a thousand attack. And that attack bonus is permanent. On to the spells, we're running two B Trooper Descent. Special summon one B Trooper token. Then if you control an insect monster with 3000 or more attack, you can destroy one other spell or trap on the field. I'm running one B Trooper Landing. This is a personal preference because I've seen this at zero. Fusion summon one insect fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If this card is in your graveyard except the turn that it was sent there, you can banish two insect monsters from your graveyard, add this card to your hand. Next we're running three B Trooper Formation, the field spell. You can target one B Trooper monster in your grave and special summon it, but it cannot attack. You will also lose life points equal to that monster's original attack. If a face-up insect monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one B Trooper token. Next we're running one Call by the Grave, popular hand trap to stop the Maxis and Ash Blossoms. We're running two Infinite Impermanence to target one face-up monster on your opponent controls and negate its effect. If this card was set, any spell or trap in that same column is now negated. And we're running one B Trooper Fly and Sting. When your opponent activates a monster effect, while you control a B Trooper, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. During your end phase, if this card is in your graveyard and you control an insect monster with 3,000 or more, you can banish one insect monster from your grave and set this card. So it's a nice way to re it has a nice effect to recycle itself. I'm running one Ultra B Trooper Absolute Hercules. This is a personal preference. To me, I like running this card. Most don't. After this card is Fusion Summon, it is unaffected by other card effects until the end of your next turn. At the end of the battle phase, you can target one insect monster with 3000 or less attack in your graveyard and special summon it. I don't know why people don't like this card. Granted, it is hard to bring out because you need four insect monsters, but if you can get it to the field, it's a nice way to recycle some of your other insects back onto the field that you may have lost. And of course, we're running one Borlode Savage Dragon, one Baron de Fleur. Next, I'm running one Battle Wasp Ballista the Armageddon. If this card is special summon, you can banish all insect monsters from your graveyard. All monsters your opponent control loses 500 attack and defense for each of your banished insect monsters. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. If this synchro summon card and its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can special summon three of your Banish level 11 or lower insect monsters. Next we're running one, number three, Cicada King. If this battle position of this card is changed, you can special summon one insect monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. When a monster on your field activate its effect, you can detach one material from this card, then target that monster, negate its effects, then make one insect monster on the field either gain 500 or change its battle position. This card is super simple to get out, especially since you're going to use B Trooper Buggy for it. And it's a really nice way to have a negate and a reborn. Next we have one Salomon Great Al Mirage. Next we're running one Inzector Pico Felina. This card can definitely be ran at two. If this card is linked summon, you can discard one card, then target one other insect monster you control. Equip one insect monster from your deck to it as an equipped spell. The equipped monster gains 500 attack. You can target three insect monsters in your graveyard and shuffle them into deck, then draw one card. For the first half of Pico's effect, the insect monster that you're going to be searching for from your deck to make an equipped spell is going to be the Resonance Insect, as once you continue your combo and Resonant Insect goes to the grave, its effect continues. As you're running one Crystron Halky Falbrax, two B Trooper Armor Horn, you cannot special summon monsters except insect monsters. You can only use each of the following effects of Armor Horn once per turn. During your main phase, you can immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one insect monster. If this card is in your graveyard, you can then banish three other insect monsters and special summon this card. But it is banished once it leaves the field. Next, we're running one Seraphim Papillion. You can definitely run this at two as well if you want. This card gains 200 attack for each counter on it. You can only use one of the following effects once per turn. 
If this card is linked, summon place one counter on this card for each insect monster used as its material. And the next effect is a quick effect where you can remove one counter from this card and special summon one level 4 or lower insect monster from your graveyard in defense position. And of course we have one Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess, one Access Code Talker, next you're running two Giant Bee Trooper Invincible Atlas. This can definitely run at one, I like having it at two. While this Link Summon card has 3000 or less attack, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. You cannot special summon monsters except insect monsters. You can tribute one insect monster, then activate one of these effects. You can special summon one B Trooper from the deck, or this card is going to gain 2000 attack until the end of the turn. So the first effect where you can special summon one B Trooper, your main target for that is going to be B Trooper Sting Lancer. Because then once Sting Lancer is special summon, you can now search out B Trooper Flying Sting or one of your other B Trooper spells in case you already have Flying Sting in hand. You would also be able to search out B Trooper Scout Buggy. B Trooper Scout Buggy's effect will activate, which will special summon another, and that will allow you to get into your Cicada King. So this is how I'm running it. Like I said, the pure version. The meta version is going to look something like this. So this is the meta version. Uh, as you see, it's less B Troopers, but it's definitely more geared towards the DPE side. It's more geared towards the adventure side. Uh, as you see, I'm still missing some for the, the meta version. I don't have Effect Veiler, and I don't have a second Call by the Grave, which I could probably do without. You could probably just drop those and put in two Infinite Imperms, or putting an Infinite Imperm and the Fly and Sting, and that should still complete the deck, and it'll still work the same way. Uh, with your DPE and your adventure as part of the engine towards the B Troopers. Well, those are the deck profiles, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you're running your B Troopers. Are you doing the meta version, or are you doing pure Bs? Until next time, later.